Um, so I guess we'll see some of these on the homework, which means that since it tells us to round to the nearest tenth, a uh, calculator is probably certainly going to be useful. So this is f of 3, and it tells us what the f of x is. We're going to take the negative square root of 9. But now we're just saying that x is this 3. And then we're going to add 25. So what does that give us? A negative square root. 9 times 3 is uh, 27, plus 25 would be 52. So in my calculator, I put a negative square root of 52. And it gives me f of 3 equals a negative 7 point, rounded to the 10th, 2. So f of 6, same function, negative square root of 9, but now x is 6. And we'll add 25 to that. So this will equal the negative square root. 9 times 6 is 54 plus 25. 79, what I got. So the negative square root of 79. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. And I get uh, that f of 6 is a negative 8 point. Rounded to the 10th would be 8.9 because I had 3 eighths after the decimal. All right, let's try f of negative 8. So this is the square root, the negative square root of 9 times, well, negative 8. And then we'll add 25. So it's a negative square root. 9 times negative 8 is negative 72. Plus 25 is 47. Negative 47. That's correct. So this one has no... And we have to be specific here. No real solution. Since there is no real solution, some of you guys intuitively know that that means that there is a non-real solution.